Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. In today's episode we are going to be doing another deck profile. And this is a bit of an opposite of the Gadget deck which focused solely on XC spamming. This one instead wants to spam Synchro Monsters. Remember these guys? I know they may be a little old school for all you Dino Rabbit, Insector, and Chaos Dragon players, but back in the day these cards used to dominate all of Yu-Gi-Oh! and decks that ran 15 of these were considered to be the best and one of the decks that excelled at this was Junk Doppel and this would basically be my take on Junk Doppel as it is right now and it is an update to my long running Mega Derp deck series this one I call X6 because it's unbalanced and broken and it can either be very easy to do stuff or it can be very difficult to almost a nightmare to play around with kinda like Mega Man X6 Ah, uh, references. But anyway, so basically what this deck, deck yeah, what this deck does, it's it's spam synchros and it does so very often. The way I have it built is I'm not really caring too much about what my opponent has. I'm just gonna try and do my thing and just combo out as much as I can. It's a very fun deck, it's pretty sacky and it can potentially have five to ten minute turns, depending on what kind of hand you have. <clears throat> so the deck centers around free junk synchron. You, spe you normal summon it, and you special summon a level 2 monster or lower from your graveyard in defense position. He's a dark, he's a warrior, he's level 3, and he just leads to all kinds of fun stuff. Then I'm also running double quick draw synchron. You pitch a monster from your hand, a special summon it from the hand. He can be used for any synchro monster that requires a synchron tuner, but he can only be used for those type of synchro monsters, and it's a condition, not an effect, so skill drains does not do anything about that. One copy of Synchron Explorer to revive all my Synchron monsters, including this guy who is a level one tuner. He's just basically a level one tuner. You can special, you can search out, and if he attacks, you can switch an opponent's monster to defense. And if you take damage from that, you special summon a monster from your hand with attack equal to or less than the damage you took. But he's just kind of in there for when you have level one tokens that you want to get out of the way. You just normal summon it. You make a formula, go from there. One unknown Synchron, it's like Turbo Synchron, except you can special summon it when you have no monsters your opponent does. You can only do this once in a duel, though. It's just kind of there. Rather useful. Triple Veiler, because it's pretty much needed now. One BLS and one Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Monsters have always been good picks in a Junk Doppel, Debris Hind type deck. And these two are your best ones. I'm only just running uh, one Sork as opposed to two. I wanted to cut my deck down to 40 cards, and... BLS is just too good not to have in here. Then I'm also running the Light Sworn engine of two Lila and two Ryko. They are just used to pop back row, threat monsters, mill, set up your graveyard for plays, and searchable through charge. One to two copies of Doppel Warrior. If you summon a monster from your graveyard, you can special summon this in the hand. If you use this for a synchro summon, you summon two Doppel tokens in attack position. The level one, dark, 400 attack, and it works with Junk Warrior. And he's also searchable through Rhoda and a Dark. One Dandelion. Remember this card? When you would pitch this for Cookjaw Synchron to make level 6s and level 7s? Uh, how I miss March 2010. That was my favorite format until Infernity hit. But still, March 2010 and September 2010 were two of my favorite formats. And Dandelion was one of the reasons for it. You just do all kinds of stuff, he's level 3, his effect goes off regardless of how he hits the graveyard. So then if you use it for, say, an Xyz monster, your opponent like mind controlled it and so forth, yeah, that kind of thing. Sangan searches out a whole bunch of stuff in the deck, just not the boss monsters, i.e. Sork and BLS. And then one copy of Level Eater. You can reduce the level of a level 5 or higher monster you control by 1 to special summon it from the graveyard. You then use it for Synchro Material, Tribute Fodder, that kind of stuff. It's also dark. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the monsters. For the spells, triple MST, double tuning, search out your deck for synchro, a synchro on tuner monster in the middle of the top card. I don't know how many times I have told my opponent, dude, you want to cut my deck. I'm going to be milling something here. You want me to mill a dandelion? And they're like, okay. And then I mill one regardless. It's actually pretty funny. No, I know. No, I don't do that on purpose. It just kind of happens. Even when I'm like muck around with my friends, the uh, same version of this deck. I was like, dude, mill the top card. It's gonna be a dandelion. It was a dandelion. It wasn't even my deck. It just simply happened. I have that kind of power, I guess. 
One copy of Charge to search out Raikou and Lala, Dark Hole and Storm as two of your three power cards. Mind Control to take monsters, use them for synchros. Monster Reborn, just, it's a great card, it's stupid good in here. Rota to search out Junk Synchron and Doppel Warrior, Scapegoat, Block Attacks, use them for Sync Material. Admittedly though, it, uh, when a Gaia Dragon, the Vendor Charger is out, bleh, but still, Scapegoat's pretty nuts in here. The one copy of Pot of Avarice, which should be banned, but it's not. Just, you go through monsters so fast in this deck that the requirements for Pot of Avarice to be live are a joke. And it just lets you recycle things such as your synchro monsters that might have been hit by Solemn Morning. My traps are very, very, very aggressive. They're just three Call to Haunt it and two Limit Reverse. And they're here for the sole purpose of just reviving monsters so I can continue my combos. I'm one monster short of a synchro monster. Guess what? Call the Haunter or Limit Reverse, I'm going to bring it back. Limit Reverse revives anything with a thousand attack or less. So this guy, 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 not her. Not him, not him. This guy, though. This guy, this guy, and this guy, this guy. So there's a lot of cards I can revive off a of limit reverse and call the haunted. And if you get hit by a blind MST, chain it with get and target Sangan. You get a free search. And your opponent feels silly. Next up, the extra deck. Where again, there's only synchro monsters in here, and we're gonna start with Formula Synchron. Level two with a synchro summon draw card. You can then perform an XL synchro during your opponent's main phase. Pretty derpy plays. I once made a shooting star dragon without actually having a stardust dragon on my field for my turn. My opponent, I had a call and a limit reverse down. I was like, limit reverse, formula synchron, synchro with my level 6 to make stardust, flip a call to haunted, special summon this guy, and then before my opponent's battle phase occurs, I then make a shooting star dragon, and it's stupid. This card's great, but it's not limit worthy. This should be it too. Hopefully Konami will do that. Army Arm, you're running a Synchro deck, you're running Junk Synchro on a Veiler, you should be running this here, and this plus BLS equals game. It's just stupid good, one Catastrophe because it's the best level 5 in the game. Hyper Librarian because you spam Synchros, so Librarian lets you draw cards for each Synchro monster you play. Junk Warrior because Junk Synchro plus Doppled Warrior equals a 3100 attack Junk Warrior. Spryon Act because it's broke. Drill Warrior, remember this guy, you poke for 1200 damage direct and then banish it and get a card back during your next turn. Your opponent can't turn into it because the last thing to occur is not this guy hitting the field, but you getting a card back to your hand. One Junk Berserker, if you attack a defense position monster, you kill it on the spot. No flipping up Raiko or Spy or any of that shit, just get it out of there. And then he has another effect where you can banish a Junk Monster from your graveyard to reduce one monster's attack your opponent has by that amount. So, say you got a Junk Warrior that got killed. Well, banish it. Your opponent's monster becomes 2300 attack weaker. And he's 2700 attack too, so he's pretty big. Speaking of big, Nitro Warrior. If once per turn, one time only, if you activate a spell card, this guy gains a thousand attack for one battle, so he becomes 38. When he destroys a monster's op opponent's monster by battle and sends him to the graveyard, and your opponent has a defense position monster on the field, you can switch it to attack and have this whack it again. Um, it's just basically there as a beater, and he can get some pretty nice hits in. One copy of Black Rose to nuke the field and reset it. Black Rose still exists, and people will always be caught by surprise when it hits the field. Stardust Dragon, because it's still a great synchro. Scrap Dragon, because it's the best level 8. Junk Destroyer, you pop cards on the field up to the number of uh, synchro material monsters used for its summon, excluding the tuner. More often than not, you'll be popping one or two cards. He's 26, so he gets over a lot of other cards. When Road Warrior, you pull out Doppel Warrior from your deck. You pull out a, uh, a known Synchron from your deck. You just pull out level 2 or lower Warrior or Machine type monsters, and he's 3,000. He just requires two non tuners. And lastly, one copy of Shooting Star Dragon, because I don't own Shooting Quasar Dragon, and I have to make deal with this guy. But he's still pretty decent. He's 3,300, and you can remove him from the game to block an attack, and then you special summon it back. And then if your opponent would activate a card effect that would destroy a card on the field, you can negate it. And then his really sacky effect is you can reveal the top five cards of your deck, and then he can attack that many more times for the turn. If you reveal no tuner monsters through this effect, you don't get to attack at all. Uh, so he can potentially OTK. And that is it for my Mega Derp deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Until the next time, take care.